Jo, what the fuck? Streamer is keeping the stream hostage. Hello Shogun Isua and Ona. Smite stream next? No. One thing I need to do is go to that quantum tower of knowledge, whatever it was. But that's gonna fall into the... Fall into that black hole until really late in the loop. Verm died one stream next. Solo bots only. And easiest difficulty. Let's go. So what do I do before the loop is about to end? Bro, sure hope I get some loot after this map. Smiley face. <laughs> man the ramparts, ram the man parts all day, every day. Just for the quick map or the loot roll. Oh god. I was there once. And I think I only played like middle difficulty maybe was nightmare like the OG hardest and then they added in the catalysm catalysm but hey in that game there was a free update imagine well since we're in no hurry I guess I'll just read up stuff I built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid the pilgrimage on its sixth location. 
Menino may went to pilgrimage during which the quantum moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the quantum moon must be on the moon's north pole. Catalysm came from Vermintide 1. Vermintide 2 didn't have it at the start. I know that part, but didn't the... Didn't they like update the catalysm in into the Vermintide one? Like it wasn't there at the start either. Was it? Was it so? I don't remember because I really didn't get into the deep deep end of Vermintide one back in the day. Catalysm You can't you can't Say words like SMM. English? No. We don't do that here. Cat Eclism. Wow. Can't believe you can't English issue. What are you, dots? <laughs> Uh, hey, you know what? Let's visit the moon. It's been a while. Oh wait, that's that's not the moon. Can you play this game again? It's the moon. Oh, there's the moon. No, oops. No, oh, that was fast. Oh, it's him. That's why we just say cat. Fair. Good point. Is this? Or is it the moon guy's ship? Or is this just some old... Old wreck? Landing mode. Imagine. Imagine using that. I think even the game said that there's still more to discover on the moon. Did you know? Did I? You have autopilot. I didn't. I didn't know before the last streams, like out at the end of the stream. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I've read through that before. I was still no more ruins, but I think that was quite literally the first place I checked out. Is it this one? All right. Now this is the same ruin, is it? Oh, 
Wait, that's the the eye of the universe, but just can't focus on it. It's all over the place. This one is the sun. On some scene. That's with the loud sound. Am I missing something with this construction? Funny moon. And I guess this is the deep. Yep, deep giant. Passer time. That's the pre all. Still wonder, is it possible to land land on that tiny thing next to the sun? I think I read through everything here. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? May need to be larger than this icing locator is. Oh no, no, and those of us originally st stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But in heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this pro proper locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend. Konoe would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for childborn so long after the crash. I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. Oh yeah! Pff. Is there a broken stone tablet anywhere? Maybe up here? Because the one that's on the museum thing, it has like a broken piece of stone tablet that you can read through, but you can only read one part of it. So is the rest of it somewhere? The moon ain't that big, surely I'll be able to spot it if I just fly around. <laughs> Don't fly off the moon. Now.
What's up? Oh, hey! Ground control! Didn't tell me you were launching. Alright, because he doesn't know Pepe left. Considering there's no other, you know, other people with their own flags. They really went into the detail with that logo. Man, maybe I'll just fly to the brittle hollow and hang around there with my ship and then fly into the... Fly into that black hole just to reach the other side with my ship. What is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? Huh? Can't even talk at it. What? Is that brittle hollow? Is it just so broken down? Or is that the location where it all... It's brittle exit. Oh yeah, that's what I was also thinking about. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that's where I'm going anyway. We can't really talk at it either. Oh no. But wait, is it safe to wait around here? <laughs> when it finally spits out the tower, it's gonna hit me and I just fucking explode. Wait, I can kinda cheat by watching how long the stream's been going, since I took like a good solid five minutes <laughs> to start. So surely in about five minutes this tower is going to show up.
Wait, what happens to that uh, piece of uh, quantum rock? Does it also fall through here? Or does it just stay afloat like somewhere on the brittle, <laughs> brittle hollows crust or where it used to be? Man, that thing keeps fucking with my vision. Uh, evil. That's not it, is it? Is it that one? Nope. What are you looking at, huh? Oh, yeah. No, 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 don't batch with that guy's speed. He's <laughs> been flying off this. Where's the tower? Where is it? Would it actually be better if I just stand on the ground that gets sucked in? Well, I feel like it's kind of too late already, like, go back there now. Oh, but I could kind of follow, like, when the crowd integrity goes low enough to exit my... Exit my ship and run downstairs. I don't think that's it. Nope. Oh wait, that's the bramble. <laughs> I was wondering, like, what the hell? What is that? Bramble. Yes. When are you finishing Neo? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, there it is. I hope it's not too late. Oh, Neo, Hazugi. Oh, 
Oh, the music is already kicking in. Fuck. Is it this one I didn't manage to read? I feel like. You're here to make your first pilgrimage to Quantum. You almost prepare yourself out this deeply significant journey before you do. Pause and remember your history. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before. No, I, I read through this, right? After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became a clan's united goal to find a way to visit the Quantum Moon. This took time and many Nomei who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before they discovered how to make the journey. When you reach Quantum Moon, recall these Nomei and carry their curiosity onwards with you. No, I think it was this one I didn't manage to read all the way through. Fuck. We make just blah blah blah. Yeah, I did read through this part. Game standard the Brittle Hollow and the Ember Twin, with no communication between these groups of survivors. This no my look. Upward from the different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, quantum moon, that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups, no, no, no. Is that, is that everything in here? Well, the world is going to blow up. No, you missed a wall, bro. You read, oh no, which one? I did read through that one. Is it down here? Panic. It's not behind that. There's no... Where's the thing to put here? I don't have it! Ah. The wall right next to the other one. Was there one? I did read through that one. I read through this like last time I entered the stream. Still blue though. No, I didn't read through that. Too late! Where... Where's the bottling? Jorma. Uh, that's tomorrow. My fucking hands are like spawns now. I washed like over 20 bottles. And then washed them again with the... Sanitizer stuff. Uh. Now I'm officially old and hello dandy. So you're pretty washed up, yes. Washed up streamer. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I don't feel like I learned anything new. Well, I'll go Brittle Hollow and try to land on that quantum moon, I guess. I can. Yep. Nothing new opened up here. No, my named Sola Solanum landed her shuttle at the Quantum Moon South Pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. 
Visitors of the Quantum Moon always arrive at the South Pole. Well. Tally ho, off to hell I go, I mean off to Riddle Hollow I go. Then we cheat by using the autopilot. <laughs> Hey, imagine if I did use this from the get-go. All the funny crashes wouldn't have happened. Reads the upside-down castle in... Uh, Sotteni. I know you mean the castle vein. What was the actual name? Symphony of the Night, yeah. <laughs> I just keep hearing everybody call it Sotteni in Finnish. I was only supposed to try it out a little before streaming it at some point. And I've almost completed the game. Or just played again, and then just perfect the entire game and played off like you actually playing it blind first time. Never have, I, have you ever even heard about the game? No IGN guide, I swear. Yeah, where's the crappy cannon? Cannon, cannon. Is it? How can I not find it? Oh, there it is. My save name is still A A A A A A A. Or in short, for short. Ah, oh, I need a medic back. Okay, I don't need a medic back. Okay. I'm home, shuttle. Yeah, that one's just. Uh oh. No. IHM, you dog. White Katsibas. Oh, or Chaos Warrior Patrol. Oh. <laughs> Very much different.
I wonder, is it possible to land on that volcanic moon? I doubt. Funny feeling, my ship just explodes. Let's see if I can if I can land that thing on the moon. How do I navigate this thing to the moon? I am ready, but am I ready? No, that's not it. And I don't know the controls either. Okay, let's go. Beep. Do I just automatically go there now? going further away from it. This thing working? Am I getting there? <laughs> Hello? Quite literally as far away as it can be, right? Holy shit. Honestly, I have no idea if this thing is working. Just don't walk out. Sure, it's fine. Maybe after I finally have my eyes on it. I just keep my eyes on it and I'll eventually land. Maybe.
Uh, okay, that's... What's the other one? I did it. <laughs> I landed on the moon. <laughs> Too bad it was the wrong moon. Don't go that moon. Time for Sure. I'm still a bit unsure. What does the right side of the controls do? Maybe that actually homes into the moon? I've no idea. I mean, something happened when I <laughs> when I touched it. Too bad there was a wrong moon in between me and the actual moon. Doing that again. Whee. And now. Um. I'm moving. I feel like I'm falling. Oh god. Move. Um... <gasps> Not again! My god, what is wrong with this moon? Oh, is that it? Oh! Oh! Put the moon- Ah! Oh, what the fuck? You're not going to- Okay, go back. <laughs> I'm too close to that fucking thing. <gasps> there it is. Is it? 
Oh, why is this thing on the way again? Oh! Oh, that's my home planet. That's not it. Hey, that doesn't do anything before. That just TPs me back in. This launches the gravity cannon. Then what? Do I just float for a while and... Is this like the landing button? No, nothing happened. Oh. Wrong way, imbecile. God fuck's sake. <laughs> Where is it? Oh. Am I doing it? Looking. I feel like I'm actually going there now. Kinda. No, it's going further away again. No. What is wrong with this thing? Was that the sun? It might have been the sun. I suppose I'll just... I guess the... I just have to wait for it to show up around this planet. actually like around the planet now it's not that far away it could be it very well could be so what if I just keep the taps on it now it's going to eventually show up in front of me Thank you. 
Who? Where are you going with this shit? I'm just afraid I look away for too long time and it just fucking vanishes. There it is. There it is. It's happening. Get in there! Where do I land this thing? Ah! No! Moon! Where is Moon? I've been lied to. Why? In the moon? No, I don't think I'm in the moon. Doesn't <laughs> this doesn't feel like a moon? <laughs> I can't seem to find the moon either. I just have to use my own ship? How do I make sure that I hit the south side of the moon? Oops. What's supposed to happen? Oh no, is this happening again? Go back.
Oh, well, that's bad. I see. Very cool. Where's my ship? 32 kilometers away. Nice. I guess that happened. <laughs> oh. Now, should I just try doing that with my own ship? Still confused, like how am I supposed? It's the moon isn't even big. It's kind of small, actually. Lol. What I miss? I the gravity cannon fell out of the. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? It doesn't even tell me. No, is it? No, it is that thing. Now, how do I... How do I know what is the south side? Below it? South, duh! Well, thank you, Isma. Is the south? Wait. No, wasn't south. If you see Santa Claus, you are at the wrong place. I see. Please don't crash into that planet. Please? Hello? <laughs> Fucking autopilot, I swear. IHM, quite literally, yes.
motherfucker is going to try and smash me into the sun again. No, don't, don't crash on it yet! No. I just have to like look at its rotation and try to aim aim myself according to that. So what is this music? I'm not saying anything until you beg me. <laughs> Where is that fucker? Where is it? Where are you, asshole? Where are you? On your knees on Remagen Bridge. No. I mean... Let's just get this thing to some closest planet orbit. Oh, hello! Look, look who it is! Look who came back! Be the South Pole? It's either North or South. That's like the absolute middle of the planet. No. You get a little bit. Yeah, like that spot. That motherfucking spot right there. Huh? Wait. Wait. Huh. Count. Guys, I did it. I think it's fine. Oh. <laughs> My cock got hit. Oh, <gasps> he's dead. As I stole his ship. That was all those rocks that keep moving, kinda teach you. Wait, huh? Why did you like have to aim it through the other? Noises. So I didn't even try to do that. I was just kind of like matching and looking the rotationary of the moon. Like, that's gonna be the south, right? <laughs> like, it's either or. <laughs> oh, shit. And the quantum moon, and it's way bigger than I imagined. Oh, yeah, to the North Pole. Oh, excuse me. 
Is this the shrine? Wait, does it visit the eye? You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Recall the rule of the quantum entanglement. How do I... How do I... Is there any place dark enough to... Kinda close my eyes so... Changes location. I'm gonna close my eyes, lay down for a bit. I need to close the door, of course. Oh, it's gonna be dark enough. Well, okay, I think I need to go to that North Pole. Close the door. Oh, the area changes depending on where I am. Holy shit. Is the bramble? Oh god. Okay, I don't think I can reach. Oh, that's convenient. Thank you. Uh. Okay, what's gonna be the. Something with low gravity. Unless did I think if I go for the... No, not the eye. I can't get out. No water, please. No. This one. Go with this one. Did the scribbles change? No, they didn't. No, this is south. Fuck. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, now it's in middle of the north. Oh, of course, of course, of course. I get it, I get it. I get it. Close the door. There the tower stays put. Now? Just close the lights. And I go to the north pole of the eye. Angler fish gonna eat your ass? No, no. Oh, doing it. Oh my god, I'm doing it. I'm here. Where am I? Oh my god! What the fuck? Who are you? Pick up me, though. Identify. Who are you? Oh, I am Solanum, and no my. My clan arrived in this star system before my birth, and we now call it home. This is cool. Uh, you. Explain yourself. Whoa. <laughs> A living being? Hello, Ezra. I am on my first pilgrimage on the quantum moon. All of my in my clan make this journey when we come of age. Even though the eye cannot be reached from here, the quantum moon remains special to us as it carries us ne nearer to the eye than any other place we know. I've journeyed here to be close to the eye. While the eye is obscured from our sight, we can see the quantum moon's reflections on the eye in the sky above us. Uh. We... Quantum... Is this your first time on the quantum moon? It's my first time here. If you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. Uh... Explain, Eye of Universe, what is it? There is fundamental uncertainty throughout the universe. Normally this uncertainty is only observable on a very small scale. As one approaches the eye, however, that uncertainty grows enormously. 
The Quantum Moon probably exhibits macroscopic quantum behavior because of its proximity to the eye. Shards that broke off from the Quantum Moon have a similar effect as I imagine you've seen elsewhere in the star system. Conscious observation forces a quantum object to collapse to a single possibility. But what would happen if a conscious observer somehow entered the eye itself? Over time, this has become my clan's greatest question. Uh, explain... Quantum Moon. Have you encountered a quantum shard on another planet? The shards look the same as the quantum moon surface does now, while at the eye. For this, we can reasonably inf infer the quantum moon's natural state is as we see it now, and that the eye is its primary location. When the quantum moon is the eye's moon, it's likely that any characteristic the moon exhibits are also exhibited by the eye itself. The quantum moon and its shards, for instance, are quantum, thus the eye is likely also quantum. In fact, this moon is probably quantum because its proximity to the eye made it quantum. The same way the area surrounding quantum shards that landed on other planets eventually became quantum too. Uh, explain me. Who am I? I imagine your purpose here is the same as mine. To learn about and to find the eye of the universe. I'm unsure how, you're arri how you arrived here. However, perhaps... You came from another star system, as my clan originally did. Uh... Identify me! Maybe he actually can realize that, oh my god, you're one of those super early species. I never met one of your kind before. It's an honor to speak with you. I particularly admire your four eyes. Oh, thank you. There are many questions I would ask if I could comprehend your language. You have my gratitude for understanding mine. Uh. What do we ask? Me, Eye of Universe. Also looking for it, kinda. Suppose you could reach the Eye of the Universe, would you try to enter it? What do you imagine the effect of the con conscious observer might be? Me, you, I am you. We do not have much connection, you and I. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. <gasps> I'm a friend! Uh, you want to moon. Yes. Feel sexy. <laughs> oh my. Like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection on the eye. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. That's true, because there was a dead body at one of the locations. Uh, what have I not tried?
There are more stones, no? Uh oh, music is kicking in. But I'm here, what will happen to me? Oh, way of universe. Did it matter if I like combine them in different? Or is this just the same one here already? Yeah. Already told me that. I try this. Oh wait, wait, I did. Oh. No. Identify quantum moon. Please, we don't have much time. This is the quantum moon. Where we both are standing. Despite also orbiting other celestial bodies, the quantum moon is the eye of the universe moon. We are orbiting the eye of the universe now, although we cannot see it, only the quantum moon's reflection of it. The eye is older than the universe itself. Oh, that's fucking died. Uniperse. Man. Uniperse, yes. Masters of the Uniperse. Damn, well, that was hella interesting. I wonder if I can talk about the Numai to anybody. One to moon on Universumen Persereika. I, I know the reference. One to moon on Universen Persereika. He he. Well, shit! Too bad the world ended. We could have repopulated the entire new universe. Sun station. Please don't tell me I can land on that. I don't want to even think about landing on that thing. When channel points rewards. Bro, camera. Yes. <laughs> it's only, what, 10k? <laughs> I don't really have any ideas what else to put in there. I just made it for money, single fuck's sake. Halfway there. Oh my. That's fast. There's more to explore. Where one? Tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to... Huh? Tomorrow is the bottling day. Bottle. Okay, I'm gonna go check out if the... The scientist guy is going to... <laughs> take my explanation. Oh yeah, by the way, I saw the... No my. No my, oh my. There is the face of a squad leader. Where? I can't see it. Guys! Nah, I'm good. Oh, 
Oh shit, I'm watching on 160p. You look like Minecraft. <laughs> Excellent, very blocky. Oh yeah, this planet has a separate music. Scared by the... Jesus Christ, the audio quality of the 160p even. Wait, that also counts. Oh no. Is it just really bad? <laughs> what the? That'd have been awkward to die under the lift. Hey, maybe you get an achievement. I'm gonna try. Oh, if you live in a lot time loop, you might as well experiment with it. Die! No achievement. Ah. <laughs> no wonder Shogun's music sometimes distorts. Or oh, is this about the boombox? Boombox playing the slowed down battle music. No achievement. That's too bad. Cross my cockpit with elevator, I must. Right, what the fuck are we doing next? Uh, maybe I'll go search around that sunken city in the Twins planet. Oh, fuckers, at it again. There he is. Sometimes when I watch Final Fantasy XIV streams, the music gets fucking distorted to hell. <laughs> Neat. Don't crash on the other planet, please. I'm not trusting this fucking autopilot. Auto boost? Oh no. Oh! Translator auto equip. Oh, it's for. Yeah, yeah, the text. Damn. Yeah. I wish I knew that earlier. <laughs> Lol. Streamer finding out about the autopilot. Fucking what? Eight hours in. There's autopilot. Hey. The game has literally no actual progress. All is like knowledge you gather. Which is actually kinda really fucking neat. Beep. Bonk. Now where have I not been in here? I think one of the lower ones is this. Hi, Energy Lab, I've been there. Hi, Shrine. District. I think I checked out that area. Stepping Stone District. Have I been there? The one at the bottom? I think it is. Wait, this goes this deep? Holy shit. I wanna see what's at the bottom. That's where I won't be getting back to. Oh, this goes to... Never mind. Been there, done that. I learned about the fact that this entire loop is fabricated. Fab. <laughs> Oh, 
which one is this? Stepping stones. Is this like the entrance where I first time arrived here? I do remember getting to the angler of his corpse through here. I feel like this is the original path. Oh yeah, reaching the high energy lab, I was I think it was just about following the light. No, this, this just goes back here. Well, crap. This is all old news. Shit, hold on. Just remember what I have. Follow me up. Not sponsored in any way or form. Missed something around the shrine. The eye shrine. My shrine with my little eye. We built the sun station to power the ash to win project. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the sun station must be built if we hope to complete the Astwin project. I almost can't comprehend this is being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believed in as a species. If we fail and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here and the rest of the star system. I wish to, to protect these species. The potential annihilation of the entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with it. Ast wins. <laughs> Fear of failure is poor reason not to try. I believe if we if we are cautious the sun station will work. I believe in Pue. Oh, I'm deeply honored. Idea. I comprehend your position, however, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we have built it. Then I want to support the station's use. I think. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to this solar system, but is that good? That told me lots of Namai died when our clan came here. What if the eye wanted that to happen? Huh? Bro, it's your bro, Solanum. Oh yeah, the guy at the... True, it's... Oh yeah! But this is like kid scribbles. 
It is here. Or her. Lanum, what if the eye isn't something good? <gasps> oh no. I see the problem. Man, that is uncomfortable looking bad. Oh. Upgrade your helmet. How are these things so intact? What is that, vacuum cleaner? Or is that like the helmet? Vacuum. <laughs> Vakali wood, you can't a cleaner. to interrupt Mr. Fingolian but can u lift ur feet so e can vacuum under ur desk and chair. Beet set te 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 bas bas basing. Bas bas basing. I can't pick up my feet but I can go take a piece break. Te beet set te beet set. Bus bus busing. Beautiful. Also, thank you. Thank you for the monies. I mean, bits. Absolutely no money. <laughs> Buzzing. Buzzing. Wait, it doesn't stick to that thing. Oh, never mind. Yeah. I think I've been here before. Deja vu. Uh. No scrolls or anything in here. I think I've read through all this. Uh, this is the shrine. My free bits, free bird. Enter and open eye and rook. Yeah, I read through all this. They're theorizing about the eye. And what does it do? Grabby the cannon. Oh yeah, this is the way I always come in now. A funny feeling and a memory that when I first time entered this sunken city, there was like a building. I saw some text in and stuff, but I couldn't really enter because of all the sand and cactus. Yeah, cactus eating egghead! Is this the step? No, this is the angler fish. That's about it, Adam. I think I can reach anywhere else. Can I? Ah! 
Actually, is this the place where I come in? Maybe? Then that means these are the... Oh yeah, these are the buildings, yes. I'm pretty sure there was, like, rooms I couldn't reach. And also I was in a hurry back then. Oh, yeah. oh look, it's nothing. Are there more buildings below me? Yes, I also know. Oh, this is the kids place. Oh, there it is! Oh, oh, I got an idea, I got an idea. Uh... Stay right there, and I'll take the lift upstairs. Then I just... Here. Ah, me smart. Me four eyes. Who's been computing shuttle trajectories to the sun station? Don't worry, the station is in such a low stellar orbit. We've constructed a different, safer way to travel there from S to win. Oh, it's a purely theoretical exercise on my part. Who doesn't love computing a good love stellar orbit shuttle trajectory? I look forward to working with you, but I'm also relieved it will be easy to return to Astwins regularly. That would be Pi. I told her we shouldn't be traveling there by shuttle and that the sun station doesn't even have a landing pad, but she said she knew. Okay, so there is a better way reaching that place. Excellent. Right, now we just have to find it. On the Ash Twin, so it's the, the exact opposite side. Damn. I have a funny feeling about to run out of time soon anyway. The gravity cannon is up one. This one? Yes. Too smart. Big brain time. What if the entire reason the sun goes boom is because of the sun station? Would it be too easy of a solution for the entire game that you just kind of fly in the... Get into the sun station and shut it down? Locked. No, I can open this one.
I'm sure my ship doesn't get sucked out into the orbit. Yeah, this looks new, new actually. Oh, this is a teleportation pad. Does this maybe go over there? Into the sun? Into the sun stays on? Let's see. Or maybe I end up somewhere completely different. No! No! Fuck off! Take me back! No! Not there! <laughs> <laughs> ah. uh, uh. Weep. Oh, that's the lab. No, oh, my ship is here too. Well, that's good news. Easy. Down here, or is it out in the space? I hate sand. Okay, maybe I'm lying with the sun station now? Maybe? Nope. This thing go anywhere? This thing on? Okay. Does that go everywhere? Like, whatever it aligns with, it takes me there. Maybe? It did, so I think somebody did mention, like, uh oh, it's the sand. That's coming. No! Suction! Ah! Oh, there goes my ship. Bye bye, ship. How <laughs> quickly. Bring me up! The sun station. The sun station. Never mind. Do I even have time for another loop? I mean, loop for this thing. There's plenty of time for looping in game. It's cheap. Do I end up. Was there even a platform in that planet? Guess not. Interloper. I still have no idea what that thing does. Oh, for fuck's sake, not here again. No, no, take me back. What does this thing say? <gasps> Slightly buying time every time I TP. Maybe this only goes to that planet. Got more. More teleporters. Wait, I didn't check. Can I can I pick this up? No. Well this looks like another TP. Please take me. The sun stays on. No? 
Oh yeah, maybe the sun stations are like already engulfed by the sun. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I don't think it's alive anymore. I think it's fucking gone. <laughs> okay, well. Prince of Plant, does this take me anywhere else? This is the forge. Oh shit! I found <laughs> I found my way to the forge again. Wait, does this then mean? Hold on. Uh, well, the universe is going to blow up in this again now, so... I need to go lower the forge. Then go to the Astwin. TP over here. Go fetch the core. TP back. Get back to my ship. That's hopefully still around. <laughs> Not getting sucked to another fucking planet. And... Uh, then I fly to that Nomai ship, replace the core and fly to the eye of the universe, maybe? Anyone? Yeah. Yep, that's the universe ending. Why into the sun, bro? Bro, surely it will work. No, before I do that, I think that's gonna be some kind of a... I don't know, maybe shutting off the sun station would be the... Like, oh hey, your... Your universe keeps going because the fucking sun stays and then eat up the entire sun and make it go boom. Or maybe it's already too late and I just have to go to the eye of the universe and ask it kindly like, please can you not make the universe end because you are so old or something. Or maybe I can't do the jump, but I can open the rest of the ship with the core. How's it hanging, city? Black hole of ore, sun stays, and the ash twin tower. More to explore here. Wait, they mentioned that they built a bigger, created to pinpoint the source of a distance signal. 
and they said there that they would move this construction stuff to another bigger area. And I think it was this one. Southern Observatory. Look for it visually by sending out deep space rope. Hello, land. Wait, I actually land on that. Is there like rock to land on? <laughs> Well, this is going to be a fast loop if we're going there. Let's see. A bonk. Not even damaged. Uh, no. Cancel that before he's <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I don't even need that thing. The hell game. Moon man. I don't really see anything to land on here. Unless one of the craters is... it? Nope, I'm gonna be dead at this rate! <clears throat> oh! It's just in. Can enter this area over here. Oh, it's fine. Fine. A bit hard, but... Timber Earth. Friends in the timber uh, hard mines. The last type of ore you send a survive... Survives the longest in direct heat. Can you send us more of the same for additional testing? We are attempting to improve its durability and our force has already burned through everything you sent. We'll deliver more or to Hollow... <gasps> Hollow's Lantern immediately. You must be... You must be fired up about crafting the Astwin Project protective shell. Oh, so they, this is like where they tested the, because the shelling need the shell needs to survive. Shelling needs to survive. Somebody needs to survive the shelling. <laughs> uh, needs to survive the fucking sun exploding, so it can send memories back before it melts. <laughs> Bro, somebody needs to survive the shelling so we don't lose the point. This is hot dog seven. <laughs> My gratitude. I imagine we're also have, we'll also have an updated estimate soon of how much ore is needed to seal off the Astwin project. Will it be more than we initially thought? It will be significantly more. The smallest crack or opening in the protective shell would destroy everything. Yes, the idea of an encasement that supernova proof however briefly has kindled my curiosity yep it's crazy yeah, this is the mine we're back in the mine no 
be there done that. Increased solar activity detected. Increased volcanic activity detected. Location is now inhospitable. Evacuation recommended. Testing site. Mm. Yeah, I think I've finished the entire quantum moon now. Maybe? None of it says that there's more to discover here. Is it too late to go for the Black Hole Forge stuff? Well, just reset the loop. And go really quick, like... Reset the... I mean, lower the Black Forge. Black Forge? <laughs> what is this, some fantasy game now? Black Forge. Because if I wanna mess around anything with that core, I have a funny feeling I'm gonna need all the time I have. Especially if I'm taking it to the ship. Yeah, let's reset the loop. I'm gonna go take a quick piss break. BRB
back. Game. Go. Oh. All right, recap, recap, recap. Uh, go to the Riddle Hollow. Lower the forge. And scoopy dooby doo running bongos. Go to the Ass Twin. TP. Get the core. TP back with the core. Go to the ship. Fly to the Numai ship. See what's up. Man. Who needs the landing gear? I'm sure it's fine. Messed it up. Go. Oh yeah, but what even is the best place to reach the hanging city? Where should I land my ship? I need to get back to it. Maybe at the quantum tower actually. Let me see, if I cross through the quantum tower, then I know it would be better to land there. And I think that's one of the most stable parts of this place. That falls like at the final minute, so my ship should be fine. Shoot. Shoot is the key word. I think I should do that. Reset! <laughs> Got the quantum tower of knowledge shit and I land there. You know it's been a few few loops when you start to real remember like when you first launch what ways what planet <laughs> When you launch, turn to 2 o'clock and you should see the brittle hollow. Mm. 
suit on. Now what way to the hanging city? How's it hanging? Down from here? Where's the crossroads? Where is it? This way? Well, it goes to a wall. Perfect. Right. Uh, okay, that's not it. Have I chosen poorly? Now this actually looks right. Just need the code. No, wait, where, what? Oh, this one. Beam me up. Planet is already so confusing. Let's just climb up. Maybe there is a faster way to reach this area, but I have no memory of it. I kind of always use this bridge to reach this area. Is it actually bring it up? Because you know. Now just don't fall with the planet. Easy. Quantum Tower, right? Yes. Take me there. That didn't work. That's not working. Hit the head. Uh oh, this thing going to fall. My drone just go through the floor. Oh yeah, but where the hell do I park my ship on the Ash Twin so it doesn't suck it up? Is there any point in there?
Let me hear. As if it only sucks the sand from like one axis. Surely this is fine. Just hope it doesn't get stuck somewhere high up. Let's hope I don't get sucked up. Is sand even low enough yet? Still this high up, well shit. Suck beam is coming. It's not this one, is it? No, this is the place where you can read. I think it's this one. Oh, but the fucking thing is broke. Is it this one? There's something here, all right. Oh, he came through the back door. No, I've read through all that. No, I've never been there. Oh, is the sand souk coming this way? The TP should be... This way? Here it is. Still not relieved. Relieved of sand. Revealed of sand. Where is door? My ship still stands. Cyclops move. Beam me up. I wonder if it can beam me up if I'm not standing right on top of it. Right, I did it. Return warp status charge. Step onto the warp receiver platform to activate return warp. Oh, that's just it. Oh, there's the forge! You did it! Don't forget to claim your rewards. Statue. 
where am I taking this first black hole core and where am I taking the remaining cores once they're ready? All of the warp towers are being constructed on Ast Win. So the black hole cores will go there. My gratitude. In that case, Spoke Clary, I'm leaving for delivery. I'll send Yarrow your regards. I'll return to the fort shortly. I'm going to catch up to Root and help him deliver the first core to Astwin, just to make sure Yarrow receives it. Of course you are. The white hole cores are for the warp receivers. Each of the six re receivers are being constructed at different locations. So those deliveries will be create greater pain in your per whistle spine. The tower design in the high energy lab on Emperor Twin reveal each receiver's location. Ask Yarrow, he is He's familiar with them. Why is there one of the stone? Yeah. Where can I even read this? I guess outside. Regarding the warp tower on Ast Wind, does each tower have to be perfectly aligned with the center of the astral body to which it it's turn tuned. I enjoy precision as much as the next Numai, but if, for example, a tower space, tower space were to shift even slightly, the tower might no longer align with the astral body. More accurately, I enjoy precision as, as much as the next Numai, provided the next Numai is not poke. <laughs> We don't need the alignment angle to be exact. It only needs to be within 5 degrees of the astral body center. Of note, this gives a slightly longer warp window. I imagine this window will last roughly several seconds. As such, any nomai stepping onto the warp platform during the active window will be immediately warped. We will need to be careful around the platform for the duration of the time it's active to avoid accidental transportation. Get this crap out of here. Doing science. Of note, Yarrow believes he spotted a flaw in the warp tower design, namely that one of the warp tower on Astwin will never activate, because its warp receiver will never align overhead. Overhead. Dundling Baldur Gate 3 mods now for ADP, I can see you. Should I be nervous? Wait. Why did I eat a solemn when I was going to read Michigan? That's a cool jacket. This is a this is a hoodie. <laughs> really thick. Very comfy. ASMR eating. Her hoodie. Well, only the like inner lining is like this. Otherwise it's just very warm. Like early autumn or late winter I can just put this on and go to the local market. Does your romantic interest think a warp tower's alignment point is its receiver? Does he not know that a warp tower always aligns with the center of the corresponding astral body? That isn't an unreasonable belief, given the receiver does have to be located on or in close orbit around the relevant astral body. Stop talking science. 
I seem to recall that was your understanding of warp technology at first. No Yaro understand the distinction, he likely doesn't realize that our glass twins are so close together they function as a single astral body, with a shared alignment point in between them. Also, was there... Charging up. Oh yeah, a fist. Well, I guess there is no like super cool warp core I can steal. I mean, borrow. Have a good news, Yaro. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Astwin. I'm intrigued, love. Everyone here working on the Astwin project is excited to see it. Hai is besides herself with joy. Hoke. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yaro. The core is finished. And if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Don't worry, love. Polk is only nervous. The core is extraordinary. And her design work is beautifully clever. Why is this still, like, red? It's just because... Yarrow... ...writes in red. Well, there was no, like, rechargeable core. Did I miss something here? Was there another floor? No? What? Fresh. This thing's kind of... Confusing? Shit. Oh no, my ship! Where was that? Uh oh, suck beam is coming! It 
least no suck. Yeah, where was that one building I that was full of cactus? Also, I'm almost out of fuel. Those video. I don't think this goes anywhere. Here's our first delivery arrow. One warp core fresh from the black hole forge. Root is inst Root is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gra gratitude, Clary. With this the Astwin project is underway. I confess I'm deeply curious about what you and Polk found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit sometimes to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model of the first tower being built for the Astwin project. So a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you. I'll be happy to explain our findings. Stop using this scroll wall for... Oh yeah, I already read through all this. Done this all before. Yeah. Let's not waste time on that again. Oh, this is the wrong tower. Wrong tower, imbecile. Miss me with that sand shit. It's this building. Uh -oh. oh no, that's not good. Oh no! Uh, this just goes back to wrong place too. Place them. Oh. oh, this goes all the way back up here. I see now. Oh, wait, wait, where is this place? Am I? Oh. Ow. Oh, 
Oh no. I'm gonna fucking die. Ui, ui, ui. I think I found it. Oh, this way. I hope there's air in here. No, this is not the place. Fuck. Tetris lol. plants here of course not I mean it is what it is the universe is going to end anyway ship. Bro, oh, I'll go refuel. Wait a second. It's going to refuel. It's fine. We fly away from the sun melting. Well, there was no core. Why to take the old core from the ship and somehow repair it? How the hell do I do that? Basically, lol. Figure it out. Also, there was one of those statues, and the eyes were closed. Which maybe mean that. Is it possible to, like, save, save some info to it? To something? I think that's the only place where there's a statue with the eyes closed. Or am I wrong? The one on the statue island is connected to that other guy. Guy playing the flute. Let's see what the computer says about that place. About the forge. I mean, all that was kind of old news. I kind of <coughs> found out about it myself. Like, just by experimenting. Central chamber inside Astwin was physically... Bro, I am physically under the... Physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. 
The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing 22 minute negative time interval on Ash Twin. Every memory recorded by Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. An advanced warp core was approved for installation in the central chamber of Ash Twin. There is a way to safely travel to the Sun Station from Ash Twin. No my debated building a Sun Station blah blah blah. The vessel's warp core is long dead. The Nomai tried to call for help blah blah blah. The vessel can still hear incoming messages from other Nomai vessels. Remaining Nomai clans are regrouping in response to the impending death of the universe. I found a recording of an original signal the Nomai encountered from the eye of the universe. The Nomai were worried the signal might disappear so they warped before they could tell another clan where they were going. Well, if there's nothing, like, at the forge that could, like, make a new core for the ship, I think there's a way to repower it. What does it say about the statues? Maybe I should revisit the Southern Obser Observatory. Now that I have the... Like the location coordinates for the Eye of the Universe too. Where's the statue stuff? My statues were designed to pair with a single user. Record their memories and send those memories to a storage unit within the Astwin project. Each storage unit inside the Astwin project was equipped with a mask. Statues counterpart, which would then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. Wait, what was my previous theory about the third mask? Because I'm the one of the one of the memory pairs and the guy playing the flute is the other one. Shit. I'm pretty sure I had like a theory like who's who the third one is, but would it be the Nomai at the at the quantum moon? Maybe he doesn't know this the loop. Cause then again there was the body in the moon when I landed. Fuck. Oh no, it was the probe. The probe. Because there was a statue there, and I think the eyes on that one was open. Right? So that one statue... How can I pair it with anything?
and I pair it with my camera probe. <laughs> I mean, they're already connected with something, I don't fucking know. Does the forge even mention it? Buzzing. I have no idea. Uh, let's see if we can reach the sun station through the ash twin. Uh, are you stuck, lol? I mean, there's. There's the sun station I can go search around now. Oh shit, do I just sit around and wait for the Even sucking the sand yet? What is this? And where's the sand suck? What's going on? Now I just, now I just wait. I think. Wait, I can't land on that man. Oh my God, he's doing it. He's using the landing gear. Not fine, clear. Why am I still moving? What? Who you? No, it's there. Now we wait, I guess. I don't think there's way to skip time, just skip for the next loop.
bunga bunga drums. Is there even any real reason to have this thing parked here, though? I think I can reach it from two or three out different heights. Just wait here. No, wait, why did I wait outside my ship? I keep losing oxygen. XD. Wait, just the... Does the sand suck reach here? I think it does. Maybe I'll try to use that one teleporter always way too late with the... With the sun already expanding to the size where it engulfs the entire station. Oh yeah, here is this place. Don't think I can go through there. Friends visiting from hang Hanging City. We are planning an Aswin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twin. I think I read through this already. So maybe if I can enter this building from below. But enough about that. Does the TP finally work? Please, sir. Need to reach the sun station. Or where does this thing even connect? that one. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Take me to the sun. Aim me up. Okay. Is this thing doesn't connect to anything, huh? 
think there's any way to check, like... This one? Maybe? No? This thing broken? What is this shit? And I'm dying. Perfect. Great. Okay. Oh. Where am I? I'm fucking dead. Can I fast forward just a little bit if I doze off at the fire over here? How many minutes does it take to... I mean, the end is around 23 minutes, is it? Yeah, I think that's enough. Little less waiting around the Ash Twin. Ash. Going to fly me into the sun? Please don't. Oh, it is. Not that. Never trust autopilot. Bro, you'll reach the planet faster if you just cut through the sun. Don't worry, it's a ball of gas. You can't crash into it. There's the sun station, it's just taunting me. I wonder if you're like a god gamer. Can I can you just land on that thing? It moves pretty fast. And the gravitational pull of the sun is pretty off too. So I don't know, I don't know about that. I'm sure it's fire here.
Oh, there's teleportation pad over there. I bet that goes to the sun station. Right? I had to find my way in there. Oh, in the flying fog. Because the door over here is broke. Yep. If only. I'll probably just have to wait for the stand to lower enough to find another entrance below. Imagine you're in a 20 minute time loop and the only thing between you and your salvation saving the entire universe from the heat death. Well, at least your galaxy <laughs> is a bunch of fucking cactus. <laughs> then again, this probably isn't going to be the final answer. Right, <laughs> scout blew off with it. Yeah. Wait, there's cracks in the cracks in the cliffside. Uh, I'll just go refuel and shit at my ship. There's one. Local spaceman is going fucking insane, ru running around a rock formation.
I just can't find an entry point. Suck up my ship. No, I need that. Oh, maybe there's hope. Where? How does that work? Like, who am I to question this shit? Physically under the thing. Where's the entrance? Where do I claw myself in? What's on the opposite side of this? I think I can just beam through the entire fucking planet, cuz that's where the project is. The project! And this thing's floating. The loop is going to end soon! Oh no. Check my ship! It's done. <coughs> Yo, this is story all about how my ship got turned upside down. getting shot. It's literally all the sand sucked off. Now where do I get in? <gasps> Is it? No. Celebrated too early for thinking I found something. And the sun is about to go boom.
Wait, I'm under the wrong zone? Oh god. The wrong one. I'm supposed to claw in somewhere around here. It's fake, it does not exist. There is no entrance. Should technically be like above me right now. If there was an entrance here, could that be it? No, fucking way is it. Oh, the best I got. <laughs> yeah. And here comes the music. I'm fucking dead. Yep, it's so chock full of Oh I'm gonna go out by punctuation of cacti. Ow Don't fucking tell me that's possible! <laughs> God damn cactus. I'm gonna try that. I think that's skipping somewhere around five minutes should be enough. Somebody, somebody remind me when I reach the place that I don't have the suit on. No, oh, I forgot to. Damn. Guess I'll just have to die. Is the sand low enough yet?
Onk my asshole while here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, am I door god? Oh my god. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, shit. Did I do it? Did I save the earth? You know what? Let me open this one. Alright, where does this thing go? Or it doesn't say anything. That. What is that? Is that the interloper? In the loper. <gasps> no? Oh. I'm in. I'm in my dudes. Two hundred eighty-one point zero four two years ago, no user commands received for ten minutes. All system entering sleep. Six minutes thirty-seven seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station full integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Open emergency door. Oh, oh fuck. Trees? I guess they're fine. Listen, science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in the of some morbid mission statement. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humor. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Hardly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does. Idea. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an in irresponsible feat is even possible. Wait, they mean to do this? Are they insane? Extra scrolls. Uh. <laughs> yeah, don't free fall into the sun, please. Star has re reached end of natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant states. Warning: evacuate sun station. Approximate time until the sun station is destroyed by expanding star. 3 minutes 14 seconds. Approximate time until star's death. 14 minutes 44 seconds. Oh, damn. You crazy son of a bitch. What did you do? What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Yaro, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were 
in infinitesimally small surface level cha changes, but they were barely visible, even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friend. I suppose we must start over, but I'm unsure how to start over. Return to Astwin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed a comet approaching this star system that we'd like to investigate. Hi, I, I heard for you, my friend. We all know how hard you both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Dear? Farewell, Yarrow, or as well as can be expect given the circumstances. Though disappointed, I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wish the device would fail. I'd hope our terrible work was finished. So they tried to make it blow up to finish the project, is that it? get enough power for that 22 minute loop. So nope, it's not artificially blowing up the sun, it's just going out on its own. <gasps> It's jumper. Oh, wait, another one. Oh, oh never mind, just the same. <laughs> Bro, it's balanced. Yeah, I think I need to get the fuck out. Why is there a statue here, too? Why not just be in paying enough attention that there's these statues everywhere. Hey, this place is going to blow up, right? <gasps> I got one minute, 30 seconds to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh no. Here. Well now. Let's see, does this thing like tell me that oh the sun station is fucking gone? Also, now the big question is like, what the fuck killed all the Numai? One tower offline as of 4 minutes 1 second ago. All other towers online. Can I use this for reaching someplace else? I don't think so. I think everything is only connected to one place. What the interloper doing though? Well, that's that. We didn't save the earth. 
or anything else at that matter. The sun station was designed to make the sun go supernova. The I fired the sun station, but it had no effect on the sun. They concluded that the sun station could never cause the sun to go supernova. After the failure of the sun station, the Nomai took a break to investigate the newly arrived comet. According to Nomai computer, the sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. So... I'm just fucked. Did land on the interloper once. That's about it. Where is that fucker? Gonna have a nice another go at it. There he is. Ya little shit. I'm guessing this is the one. Hello! This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home? To the gravity cannon on Emperor Twin. Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more... Difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recall it. Perhaps we should shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise. I think Clary, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Hulk and I can continue to investigate the surface. And here was me thinking that, bro, I'm almost done investigating. One ship is still here. And I can't see inside.
I feel like this thing is going to fling me off the off the surface again if I go to the front of the so said I. This is the front. Hello, is anybody in there? It's like walking on Monday. Damn, it was so freaking slippery. No, actually, Tuesday. Monday was basically plus three or something. Everything melted. No, oh, no. I'm stuck now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, no! No, don't do this! Don't fling me off the planet! No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Fuck. Yeah, well, everything pretty much froze over on between Monday and Tuesday. And the next day, oh god. Early in the morning when it's like... Minus five or something, maybe not even that, but everything was frozen over and was like walking on a mirror, smooth eyes. Good lord. Well, I guess I'll just meditate. Go search that gravity cannon at the... At the Emperor Twin. Recall the... Shuttle over there and hopefully... Find something new because... I really didn't expect that about the sun station. I was so sure that... It was because of that thing. The sun was going supernova. But wait, there's more. God. I found a Namai shuttle almost completely encased in ice. There were three Namai aboard the shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm. While the other two explored the in interloper. There are more to explore here. A my shuttle that's frozen on the interloper can be called home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin. I've been at the gravity cannon many times by now, but I never really looked for any controls for it. Is the developer secretly an super genius? Well, the sun station was basically a big red herring. You 
You think you can stop the end of the galaxy? Nope, I think again. At least not that way. that mirror oh it's probably like points out from the inside yeah I see it is on everything is full Hey, would you look at that? There's the controls. Hello, <laughs> oh, 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 <yeah>, <laughs> is currently resting at the common. I fear our situation may be dire. Hi, Polk, and I landed here on this comet, not long after its arrival in the star system. Our shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. I and Polk were able to locate a fissure in the ice on the comet's sunward side, and they descended inside to investigate the source of the readings. But Pi and my sister have been gone for a long time now. They haven't contacted me since descending below the surface either. Should I leave the shuttle to look for them? I want to follow protocol, but I don't know what I'll do if they aren't well. Oh, Pi, come back to me safely, my friends. Let's not touch those again. Ah, oh, I see. Perhaps the interloper has something to do with all the my vanishing without trace. Do I get out of this hole? The ship, of course. Mind. Interloper. There is. I think I need to slip in when it's going like backwards from. No wait, the exact opposite.
Well, I can see the fissure. Wait, is this thing melting, like, as time goes on? Is it? Yeah, I ain't gonna leave the ship. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be flinked to space again. Oh yeah, is there anything below where the ship landed? Now that it's recalled. Oh yeah, can I think I can look at the um, No I can't really do that either. Oh, it's a snowflake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this is where the ship was. I kiss. Oh, I stay right there still. Is this thing melting slowly? Can't really tell. Maybe the same happened to them as me. Planet basically just flinked them out. I mean, now it kinda looks like it's slowly. Slowly, very slowly, melting.
Oh, that's my shadow. I was like, huh? Is there something <laughs> encased in the eyes? <laughs> nope. What? Okay, I think it is melting. At least the front. Pretty sure the, the fissure in the middle front is getting slightly deeper. Do I have to hang out here? I ain't landing until I see like something that I can probably fit through. Uh oh. Is that good? Is that bad? Something going to be peeking through back at me. Oh, 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 I think that's the reason. <laughs> Fine. Go back. <clears throat> oh, I'm almost hit my whole planet. Is it freezing over again? Maybe I'll just go full YOLO and I'll go sit in the fissure after this thing goes to the turn back point. Is it going to fling me away again when it reaches the... <laughs> like I need to... I need to like study the, the trajectory of this freaking thing so I know when to land on it and then quickly run into the crevice. I think it's only like for a while it's it melts only for a while. That's basically when I need to think under the water. Oh. 
Excuse me. Okay, I think we're going for the return trip next. Or maybe I have to like just wait for it to loop around its loop around the sun enough time so the rust completely melts. Oh my god, you were four? No, that's a... <laughs> that's a snowflake. Almost. This is usually the part where the thing turns around or something and loops closer to the sun. But I'm stabilized here. I think I might just crawl in there. What YOLO? Well, this is way deeper now, but it'd be better if I just chill out, land on this thing again when it's past the sun again. Oh yeah, we're going in hot. Uh, I'll just leave you be. It's basically hugging the sun, right? That is sure to melt the core. Oh yeah, I would be fucking dead. If I was left there. 
Oh, it just went through the fucking... Okay, there's gonna be, like, nothing left of that fucking ice crust anymore, right? Is the entire thing dead now? Is it dead? Is it? Is it fucking gone? That? No, that's my whole planet. Bro, bro, it's gonna burst. No. Oh. Wait, so... After Interloper goes into the sun, that's it. That's the end. Oh, no. What? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Just gonna run away from my problems. Easy. <laughs> Go faster. That. Oh, it's the interloper. It is there. Motherfucker did survive. <laughs> oh, you can survive the explosion, but you just get sent back. At least your memories do. How long do we want to doze off? 15 minutes? Uh, I don't think there's a way to speed this up even more. We did lose the entire icy crust after it went through the sun. Wish I could meditate when I played. <laughs> Did you play this without doing the dose off stuff? Or skipping with the skipping to the next loop? Oh dear. 
Hey, soon it's time to wake up. Wake the fuck up, samurai. Hey, at least you didn't play without the autopilot, right? Where is Sun? If I navigate over to the... Is that place? Is that place? Is that... Gosh, no, it's not that place. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the interloper. Oh, it's going in for the last round. Fuck. How am I going to do this? How... Can I even track it? If I just... Keep my tabs on it. If I just hang around it and wait on this side of the... Because this thing never moves. It's always stationary. This is going to take a lot of microing and shit. Micro crow. If my tracker stays on that thing, I think I should be able to just, you know, hang around here, staying still, and catch him on his next loop. <laughs> just have to constantly use the thrusters just a little bit. Hope I don't lose the tracking on that thing. Also, bonus points if nothing warps into me through the wormhole. And fucking blow me up. Wait. Wait a minute, there's a map? If I... Right. 
Roll control my way this and okay now I'm like I'm going technically correct way up. Fuck. I like can't really make like an I should maybe start moving by now. It's gonna reach the sun. It's gonna come out the other side here. Don't lose the track on that, please. Please, it's not gone, it's still very much alive. Trust me. I'm a scientist. Okay, I lost the track on it. It is going to come out the other side. No, it's... Where is it? Early. Yeah. Because I freaking saw it! Is it? What the hell was that thing I saw then? Is it over there again? No? That's just... See shit? What? Maybe I can swim in on the second loop. Second loop. <laughs> Oh wait, oh, blah, blah, blah. Go, go back, chill out at the campfire.
think around 15 minutes, it was looping really close to the sun. Uh, maybe 10 minutes would be good enough. Wake up! Look at that, he's that close to me. I'm receiving much stronger energy reading now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, closer to the comet center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realize. Larry, can you hear us? Yes, but your voice, voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Larry. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Oh, hello. Okay, don't go down there. That is. 
is a big no-no. Spherical stone glow casing here seems to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather, the source is what written the stone. Within the stone, I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. They should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. I, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing. But it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Whatever the matter inside this stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density. Scan. I've never seen anything this... This tightly compacted before. What is this? This is order, orders of magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. And the pressure is still building as the comet approaches this star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know that they are in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chance of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, poke. So... I was wondering, like, what is the ghost matter? Apparently it was what killed the Nomai. I guess now I just wait for the interloper crash into the sun. EP?
I'm just gonna hide here until the end of the world. I'm going to run out of oxygen or the world going to end. It's fine. I'm gonna crash into the sun before I run off oxygen. <laughs> Surely. Leonora. I'm going in. So, what happens now? Maybe I need to go back again to that no my ship. Oh my no my. Ruptured core. I found the two missing members of the Nomai Shadow. Grew near the large rupture stone that looks like it exploded from the inside. Nomai traced the strange energy reading to a spherical stone casing filled with some sort of exotic matter. He determined uh, the exotic matter was both lethal and under extreme pressure. If the stone were to rupture, the exotic material matter uh, within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the solar system almost instantaneously. One of the Nomai stayed behind to examine the alien matter, while the other rushed back to the surface to warn the rest of the Nomai. It didn't even reach the outside the tunnels. Everybody fucking dead. Is it time to go to the Southern Observatory again? Wait a minute, what if there is no end to this game? What if this is just twisted loop after loop after loop after loop? I'm sure there's some kind of a wrap up. I mean, before I was suspecting like maybe there's multiple endings, but mm, I don't know so much anymore.
Wait a minute. Oh, this is just going anywhere. What the fuck? Ah! me up. I forgot, how do I get to the south? South Lander. How do I rage south?
Right. Open this. I think I'll read through this thing. Yep, that's about bottom. Now, did I read through this? How should that method change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? We know that the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism. Yeah, I think I read through all this. Yep. It's about them deciding to do the probe cannon. Is there anything else? What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Based on our knowledge to the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to this star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Atl lock and the new, more sensi sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Asava, how can you suggest that the eye signal called out to summon us to this star system? I am aware I grew up hearing the eye story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. And it's really far away then.
not even asking me what I am supposed to be looking out for with that. <laughs> now does it matter if I now go to the adult rock? Hee <laughs> hee. Dick. And just use the last of my fuel. God damn it. Blech. Now let's go to the Atelerik. Also, let's just miss that one part. Deep space broke. No, apparently I missed that one. Oh. It is also like on the South Pole here. It is. This shit is still confused. Game still mentioned that there is still more to find over here. Smack myself with these spinning things. But I can. Literally not fast enough. My device created to pinpoint the sort of distant signals. Unknown. I know who that is.
in the spade. Losing my mind. Central chamber inside Astwin. There is more to explore. Vessel's warp core is long dead. Is there any other place with that kind of a core? Us. Don't think there is. Can't even knock it down. Damn. That is one strong leg. Maybe I'll just go through the journals again. Map removed. Smiley face. Brain hurt.
Its tower warps to a different planet, although many in my were quick to note that the sun is not actually a planet. Each tower was designed to visually reflect its warp destinies. Did, did they all even work, like at all? Oh yeah, the bottom left is the mines, but they got all the ore. And top left is the sun, well the sun station. Uh, the other one just the God damn it. But I'm pretty sure not all of them even work. But is there more? There is more to explore. What the fuck? It take me back. Maybe, maybe this. Don't the blitz other have this actually somewhere around there? There is Adult Rock. Where is it? It's just further away from the buildings. I don't know, I don't know man. I'm gonna lose sleep over this soon. <laughs> I'll call in work tomorrow. Like, yeah, I, I ain't, I ain't coming over tomorrow because the space doesn't make sense. The space time is all wrong. No, fucking pump the desert around here. Where is it? Where is the broken off piece of stone?
Does anything change downstairs based on where this thing is pointing? I feel like I'm supposed to somehow catch the eye signal with the locators. Somehow. I got the coordinates with the probe, but... Well, I got them. Can I not use them? I don't think they just change between loops. That wouldn't make much sense, right? Right? Do I have to go get the coordinates separately? That wouldn't make sense. Unless they actually change between loops somehow, some way. Wait, did I just... Oh, I just forgot to read something in there. Oh, hey, nothing new anymore. <laughs> I think I just forgot to read one of the branching of texts. They do say advanced warp core was approved for installation in the center chamber of Astwin. But I can't get into the chamber, right? How how would I? It's unbreakable, impenetrable. I think that's the closest thing that would, you know, maybe fix this. Nomai named Polk successfully forged an advanced warp core for the Ashtwin project. Brain. I'm losing. <laughs> I'm losing one correctly.
there are tower designs in the high energy lab. Wait, can I can I see it? No, it's private. Why are we seeing something with the warp points? Can I check if all the warp locators on the towers are intact? Do I just have to go get one from the Ember Twin? I, can, I think there was warp cores in there. That place did have like a huge fucking power core, right? Like, we talking big. Did I go visit the high energy lab again? It's been a while. There was those cores, like a lot of them. Was there... Maybe there was something I could, you know, just unplug and take that to the... Gee, I don't know, man. Freaking out. Okay, where's the cannon? Use the cannon again. As a way marker. Also... Easy access to the underground city. Oh yeah, but I can't really be too fast because I just have to wait this shit for 200 years. This isn't like an ultimate answer to anything, so I can't be here then I, I guess. Now we wait. <sighs> what if? Through some freaky maneuvering and way, I can reach the, the central room. Maybe there's a warp point in. Can there be? I doubt. Because there's already one, one warp point on the Ash Twins. And it even says that it, it counts only as one combined.
Thank you game, very cool. <laughs> Just because I couldn't bother to wait for a few more seconds. Of each. There's plenty of these. I don't think there's like a... There's nothing like a big ass core. At the Banset Core. I'm just gonna steal this. Where is my ship? Dude, where's my car? Which one is which tower? Any of them out of the sand yet? That's the sun. Right? Yes. Now what about these two? And 
This one should be working properly, but where does it go? Nowhere? The fuck? I can't go anywhere. Is this hope? Yeah, maybe I can. I need to fix like one of the warp cores here, but no, oh, they're very much intact. No, this one doesn't go anywhere. Interloper. I think this one went. I think this one was the brittle hollow. Maybe at the forge. goes oh Wait, is this also like go back to the planet no oh actually this is clearly the twins This is the Twin Towers. Oh shit, Twin Towers? <laughs> Don't fly your ship on that. Bro, bro, Lord of the Rings. I just... Fuck. Does this also like TP me within... Wait, what if this goes to the core? Oh fuck. What if? Okay, let's just wait for the sandstorm. Garuda the sandstorm starts to play in your head. You are welcome. And they even mention that the twins only have like one warp locator. And it's in the middle of the twins. But wait, I can't even stand here because the, the sandstorm is going to suck me in. Just hold my thrusters full power. Oh, my thrusters are full power. Here we go. Uh, no, don't suck me up, no. I can't do it because of the fucking sandstorm. Wait, does the sand run out at the very end? I know it doesn't like start sucking up until maybe one or two minutes in. Right? Does it end ever? 
This goes to my home planet. Yep. Oh no, not again! No, 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 no! <laughs> Where did this one go? The Brittle Hollow? Was this the Forge one? Forge. Forget about it. It is. What is the very final? Where did this one go? Surely not the whatever white hole stays. Oh. Deep giant. Yeah. Where the fuck am I? Oh, oh no! I'm flying in the air. <laughs> oh, it's the statue island, right? Right. Of course, that's the important part here. Yeah, makes sense. I'm just dragging this thing along, just in case. No, 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 I don't have fuel for this ship, please. Where's the Twin Towers? The Twins? They are taking the... Whatever... To the... As Twins Project! If only I could fix the roof. It said that it takes a couple of seconds. But 
No, no matter how hard I run. The sand stop. I mean, these are literally the final moments. Maybe I can check the... Moment of truth. Can I do it? Null. No sand, no sand, no sand, please, no sand. Please, 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 no sand, please. Now it's gonna blow up when I'm right over here next to it. Come on! I need to know! <laughs> Come on! Where's the fucking other twin? Where is it? I'm going to fucking die! Oh! Do I have time? No, I don't have time. Oh, is there any way I can fight against that? Huge sand. Because the sand shit doesn't start immediately, but then again, everything's under the sand. I can't do shit. I can't reach it. <sighs> Yeah, I'm still going day off tomorrow. Nope. Still got work tomorrow. But it's only five hours a day, so... Gonna be pretty chill. And if I'm lucky, I get a ride back home, so I'll be home sooner. Then I'll bottle the wines. It's also tabletop games. Oh, not tabletop. Pen and paper stuff. Around 5 p.m. tomorrow? And <laughs> I think as soon as I'm done with those games, it's gonna be Baldwin Gate 3. Around 9 or probably closer to 10 in the evening. I'm sure I won't be too drunk from the wine. I merely sample it. <laughs> I'm... I'm tasting... fragments of... Uh, blackouts. Physically sealed off.
I need to lab Tekken 8 at morning before going to the Fight Club help. Set up the tournament on Saturday. Busy, busy. It's time to... Go back to the gosh damn Ash Twin and just try everything. Google, how to not get sucked up by a sandstorm. Right now, this sand ain't going anywhere. The second, and it'll start. This thing, though. I'm gonna see what, what's up with this thing. I think this is the thing I crashed into. <laughs> once, once upon a time. Just a quick detour at the deep satellite, whatever this thing is. Even before it can scan this or some shit, and I, I get new shit discovered. Damn, autopilot really paying off now. Without the autopilot, I just went like, man, it's still like fucking 10 kilometers away and just crashed to it. Bonk. Oh my god, it's moving so fast. I see it. You are so small. Oh, it's our satellite, I guess, because... Looking like straight out the... Map, who needs that? See my map for some reason. Really weird.
Bonk. I think that twins are still under mostly. If my next test doesn't pay, I can't still figure it out. I'll go talk to that guy on the planet. Maybe he can give me some ideas. Like, hey, how the hell do I work against the goddamn ash suck beam? How to anchor myself against sandstorm? Is it possible to like just run into the circle when it's right on top? There's there's cover here, it shouldn't suck me up with it. Fucking... <gasps> yes! Yes! We fucking did it! Holy shit! <gasps> I'm here now. Oh. Eight minutes, eight seconds ago. Received data from previous cycle. Mask receiving data from probe tracking module. Giant steep memory statue. Timber heart memory statue. 40 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Oh shit, you made it? Yes. Yeah, that explains. Those truly are the two memory statues and the last one is the probe. Today we finished the excavation of Astwin here. In this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet. The Astwin project, powerful enough to send information back in time. We've also finished relocating all substan- Subterranean plans we met while digging. Rami, we'll need to keep our eyes on how significantly we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiment at the high energy lab. 
I still can hardly believe Ramin's hypothesis was true. Oh. I have a funny feeling where this is all going to... Wait, let me guess. Before I go any further. Here I can make like a bad point of no return where I unplug the power from this place. Then before the world ends and finally I end the cycles with it, I can mad dash to the Numai ship and go to the eye of the universe with it. <laughs> That's my guess. Let's see. Pog just sent the warp core from the final tower to us from the Black Hole Forge. Now as twin can be connected by Giant's Deep, where Kasava is working with Avens to craft the orbital probe cannon, and when Phlox is sculpting the memory statue. Hypothesis. It was not by accident the core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. Hypothesis. The cores would have been formed faster if Kasava had interrupted my work less frequently to ask for updates. The important point is we are all connected through S Twin now. And also that I am no longer needed for mediate, mediating your disagreements. Our friends on the Giants Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. Malo tells me the cannon is doing well and that Evans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power from a device, Evans can. Then if anyone can can goad a device into exploding, that too is likely Evans. Perhaps I should check in with the orbital probe cannon crew in the inter in the interest of safety. Would it help to remind Evans that Malo, his love, will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon, or is Malo a part of part of the problem? Blocks and Dads finished the memory statues today. And they are truly remarkable. When the Astwin project succeeds, or in the events it fails, the memory statues will activate, allowing us to gather more data before the shutdown. Before we shut down the project. I and Idea have worked hard on the Sun Station, and it at last is complete. If everything goes as plans, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion, which will in turn supply the power the Astwin project requires. I am impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task, in more ways than one. We are nearly ready to activate the Astwins project. Here is what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Astwin project will send the orders of orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. In total, each cycle created by the Astwin project will last predictably 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. Right, because when they receive the correct memory, they just, they just stop. These words are difficult to write. The Sun Station did not work. Suppose we redesign the Sun Station. To generate power of that magnitude, a supernova is still our only viable option. This is easier expressed than accomplished. accomplished. You can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline if you prefer idea, but uh, you will need to find some way to halt our aging pro progress. 
I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova, my friend. Don't lose hope. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Astwin project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there is another way. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. A comet has newly arrived in the solar system and we are anxious to explore it. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new. So we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. I have good news, Yaro. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber of Astwin. No, it isn't. Is everything well at the forge? The core's durability could still be improved. I need more time. Ignore her, Yaro. The core is finished, and if my sister tells you otherwise, then she will be finished as well. Oh, this is the part I found. This is probably about the... all the stuff. My gratitude for the latest shipment, yep. I've installed the mask inside the Astwin project. Blocks, take a... they look beautiful. Yeah, I've read all through this. My internet good enough to handle a stream with multi multi games again. 160p. Oh yeah. Artificial gravity control. Oh. Will this thing do though? You are about to access the core while the Astwin project is active. Removing the core will disable the Astwin project. Yep, I fucking knew it. This is going to be the thing. Now, I think I need to be exactly sure what I'm gonna be doing next. So basically. I'll come over here. It was around, what, eight minutes? I'll snooze for five minutes. <laughs> then I'll dash here. Shut this thing down. Where does the... Oh, it's gonna be in the middle, isn't it? I'll pick it up. Warp out of here. Hop onto my ship. That need... I Absolutely needs to be parked somewhere where the sandstorm doesn't suck it up. Then I'll drive that thing over to the the Bramble place. Bramble. Then switch over to the the locator where I can pick up where the Oh, where the new escape pod is. Go launch the probe into the actual ship. Navigate over there again. And... Then I'll go install the core and see what the hell happens. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna need every fucking minute for this. Does my entire game just fucking delete if I 
shut down the project and go over there. Fuck it, let's see. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Gonna go bye. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to take a nap. Oh, fuck. Will disable the last win project. Quick, quick <laughs> nap until five minutes. <laughs> oh god. No. nap for a couple of minutes. It's fine. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> what if I mess up? What if the fucking fish eat me? No. Just remember the free flow. Don't touch the thrusters. Don't trust the thrusters. There's the double towers. It's not going to be this cycle yet. It's gonna be the next one. Then I guess it's do or die. Might be maybe even two cycles more. Well, maybe this one is enough. <laughs> oh, just for the fact that you have to kind of wait for a few minutes to get this this part going. Yeah, the sand is lowering at a steady pace. Might be able to do it this round. Should be able to pretty safely reach the reach the emergency escape pod. I don't think there's any fish 
in the way. When I go for the ship, now that's a different story. There's the huge fucking plimp of them. Fucking go time! Pizza Tower music starts to play when I unblock the fucking thing. <laughs> Wanna fucking do it! Goodbye, cruel loops! No more loops! Fuck you! Shut down the... I'm gonna do it. IHM, get in the ship. Oh god, even the music starts to play straight off. The game knows. Okay, where is it? Where are you, Bramble Planet? Where are you? Where are you? Here it is. Stop the music! <laughs> it's making me anxious. Hands are shaky, palms are sweaty. Stop.
nuts in eating. It's gonna be fine. Far enough. No, 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 we're not. We're not going to be <laughs> keeping too much of a hurry. Sure, it's fine. That open the doors here. No. Fuck it, just go to the control panel. I'm sure it's. I'll figure it out. I don't have time to figure this out. I'm getting out of here. Fuck this. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Activate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Just get me out of here.
have no idea. <laughs> oh, I need the... I have the coordinates. No, 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 no. And I can't look at the ship. I can still go back. My ship is right there. My ship is right fucking there. I can still do this. I got the coordinates from the... Ow. They are the literal fucking coordinates in that picture. The fucking picture. Ah. <laughs> it's this. It's this fucking thing. I'm gonna... Did you use this? Of course. God, I wasted so much time. Please tell me I have enough time. More like that? No, it wasn't like that. Please work. the moon but this one son no
There's a hole! There's a way! Wait. Blech. Outer World Venture was founded by Fesparkas and Horsefund Explorer, a solar system, end of the universe. The Nomai never got to see it for themselves, but thanks to their efforts te and technology, the Artians was able to reach the eye of the universe. Holes are gone. Okay, let's not go there. At the end of its lifespan, our sun collapsed under its own gravity and then exploded in a violent supernova. Of all the life forms who will perish in the oncoming death of the universe, we will miss the angler fish the least. Bird. The Nomai who came to our solar system were following a signal from the eye of the universe. They perished when the interloper arrived, bringing with it a deadly substance we called ghost matter that flooded the entire solar system almost instantly and without warning. Wonder they all just died in weird places. Writing is done. Hello. Upstairs. Hofner Hornfell's observations. This is incredible. At first I thought the points of light in the matches were stars, but they're not their galaxies. Now I think this is the same as in original. This This is getting weird. I guess this is nicer than floating in that nothingness.
Okay, this is not nice at all anymore. Is that going to be me? Burn it! Hmm? You hear music? More quantum fuckery in it. It's um, it's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We'll need, you know, everyone. No rush, take your time. It might not even exist here. Yes, I saved my people. You forgetting someone? Maybe, maybe we did get a good ending. I know this fella. Wait, that's not it. What are you doing in there? Get down here. How am I supposed to get up there? You know what? This is so, it's so far. <laughs> also, just no way. Just the quantum shit happened here too. He's at the... Okay, never mind. <laughs> we got him.
No, no, where did he go now? Come on, man. I know we're in somewhere like end of the time or some shit. He's just flying around there. Oh wait, is it because I walk too far? Oh, let's get our time buddy. I bet he has a lot on his mind. The quiet shade. Oh, is it his quantum... He did the... In the ancient glade. Yeah, he did like the... No, not you. Oh, he's in the tree. Hey time pal, so you're getting the band back together, huh? Go on, go find the others. I'll be here. You don't need me yet, but you will. No, fuck you! Oh, jello fish. How the hell do I get the drum guy? Just fly at him, I guess. <laughs> That's Ling, you found me. Nice to have company around a campfire, isn't it? Go on. Go get the others. Wouldn't want him to miss out. He's got a sick helmet though. Alright, Mr. Unga Bunga. Just fly at the planet. Oh, ho, ho, I see. <laughs> he did teach me to zoom in with this thing. That's probably it. <laughs> Everybody dead now. Oh. Am I getting the guy from the quantum moon? Maybe? Everybody here? Boss. 
A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Yes. This song is new to me, but I'm honored to be part of it. <clears throat> what do you say, time buddy? Ready to start the music? Sure. Eh, this should be cool. What do you say then? Should I get out the old harmonica? Yeah. Ah, here goes nothing. Should I begin? Yes. You got it. I'll do my best. Hit the drums, little man. Shall I begin? Yes. Well then, here I go. Whistle. I can't wait to play with the whole group again. Can I start? Yes. Yeah, I won't let you down. But do I play? Are we making like a new universe? What is this? Can't pick up the entire thing. Making an egg. Oh shit! God! Came from egg shaped ship. Wow, how long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around the campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. But I think the rules are about to change. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is past now, but that's, you know, that's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. Still, it's um, time for something new now. I believe we've reached the end of our journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what's next? Not yet. It's tempting to linger in the moment while Every possibility still exists. But unless they are collapsed by an observer, they will never be more than possibilities. What comes next, me? Oh! <laughs> God, Sibos. I tell you what, this has been really fun. And I got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know. You do have a get mask on. You cut it a little close, don't you think? Well, it worked out all right in the end, I suppose. Ah, I hope there are beasties in the next one. Wow, how long it Yeah, he already talked with you. Well, I believe we reached the end of the journey. All that remains is to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Yes. I admire your curiosity, friend. Let's find out together.
Am I dead? Or am I born anew? Whatever you do, game, don't throw me at the start of the loop. Okay, credits, I'll take it. That's a good, good way to end it. Mobius Digital Games. Yes, I said it, digital. What are you gonna do about it? This new universe, bitch. <laughs> I say what I want. The rules have changed. Dig it all. The seven endings, holy shit. The seven? Most of them are not that deep like this one. Yeah, I'm guessing one is just where you just shut down the thing and die. DLC adds more. When there's DLC? Yeah. yeah. I'm guessing because I, you know, I feel like I discovered most of it, or at least a lot. Very cool game, I enjoyed a lot. <clears throat> it feels Feels good when I... I think I got pretty much all of it. <laughs> I found it out on my own. I don't do the spooky music, please. I think you find basically everything. Yeah, cool. No. I was pretty through it. At least the journal on the ship looked... Pretty much like... Yep, that's all. No question marks or more to discover marks anywhere. Then again, the interloper. I didn't find out about the stuff until today. Like, that it even had its own separate thing where it's just basically... Okay, you find out what killed all the... All the guys 200,000 years ago. Big red button. What does the DLC add on the new planets or? You know, more quantum states. <laughs> Fourteen hours. I mean, I didn't. I was totally not left like feeling that there was supposed to be more or there should be more. <laughs> but hey, if they made up a new add on that is at least as cool as this shit. As horror elements of oh no, that's too spooky. I think I had my share with the fish. <laughs> Pasmo in space. You got yeeted into the back rooms of space. 
The Space Back Rooms. Or is it Back Space Room? <laughs> Cosmic horror. <laughs> How many people have you killed? Much love to Outer Wilds player community. Thank you for playing Outer Wilds. Thank you for the game. I enjoyed a lot. Fourteen point three billion years later. Don't you, don't you fucking put me into the loop. New planets, but they are even bigger. <laughs> and there's a group of new kind of creatures. That was... Looked like the... Rope thing. I did sh I did fire the orb rope through it. Would it be? <laughs> you only see it if you shoot the probe into the next universe or the next... Obvious. Yes, <laughs> it actually is. Wow, that's so cool. I love it. Wow, wow. Yes, clap for the big uploads for the developers for adding such a tiny detail. Love it. I like that it, now it says load previous save because you don't do the loop if you. Die. Or if you finish the game and go to the next one. Alright, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the outer worlds. I don't know about the DLC. Maybe but not right now. I'll maybe I'll maybe look into it like what's in it and how tightly does it tie into all this or is it like a separate thing you do? But tomorrow we do the wine stuff. We wrap up the wine wine episode too. <laughs> That's tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow afternoon before the pen and paper games. After that, well, I'm pretty open to whatever. I do have a big pen in paper. I have a big backlog of video games I need to play. We will see. This we will. Also, I kind of spitballed an idea that... I don't know, Games of Good isn't really like a st streamable game. You kind of need to know what's going on. <laughs> it's not the easiest thing to follow. And that would probably be 95% of keyboard going clack 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 clack. Also, would be fun to play Genshi, but I would need to come up with like a funny idea to start. Like, some kind of a meme playthrough. And when I say playthrough, just play until I get bored. Or maybe achieve something, some goal I'll set for myself. That's not going to be like pro kill. Kill everyone or kill this faction, because I've never even reached that point. Holy shit. And then again, that game's kind of grindy too. Like occasionally you can just watch YouTube for three hours while your guy just kind of grinds <laughs> hungry bandits for stats. <laughs> Cat desoir. Oh. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm the do. Do do. Banner Lord full map conquest. That would take me like 
one entire fucking year to play. Unless I like spam the auto resolve on everything. <laughs> What's the point of playing the game then? Might as well play some other grand strategy. Strategy. Yeah, it's been going off already long enough. Oh, look at that, it's almost middle of the midnight. Banner Lord Samurai Mod, please release. I don't know when that is going to be released, but I am going to release you from this stream. Thank you for watching. I maybe eat something and probably just go to sleep. Watch some YouTube or maybe yesterday. Actually, is anybody else streaming? No. Okay, game. Until next time. Good night.